But back to Hillary, <laughs> she, you know, all of this information is coming out that, you know, what they did to uh, President Trump during, uh -huh. uh, before he was uh, in office and even after he was in office. So I know that you were a, a Trump supporter and I did a video on this. I haven't put it out yet, but I was thinking about how the Russia thing and, you know, all of the, the derogatory things that came against Trump that on the ground, if you were if you uh, were working on the Trump campaign or if you were involved in any way, like with the walkaway movement, you came in contact with people who were literally deranged mm -hmm. by these narratives. Right. That he was a racist, that he it was a Russia collusion and that he, you know, he wanted to tear down democracy and all this foolishness. And it was, I, I took the, um, it, it's fascinating to me that they use <laughs> the mainstream media is like their department of communications, basically, to uh -huh. push out all this stuff where it really got into the minds of the people where people were really believing all of this stuff. And they would people. Uh, there was a guy who was shot and killed a man, a black man who was right. killed for being a Trump supporter. Uh -huh. There was a, a girl who did what I did uh, for the Trump campaign. Uh, she was a regional engagement coordinator. Uh, for Black Voices for Trump in Ohio, her house got shot up. I really? was watching. Yes. Wow. Yes. I mean, I she's okay, that. but you know, the, her how her home was, you know, shot up. I was lunged at by some random guy because I was wearing a Black Voices for Trump shirt. Mm -hmm. But I, I just I was thinking about how vicious this woman is, <laughs> and how thirsty and hungry for power she is to to spy on a sitting United States, allegedly, on um, a sitting United States president. What are your thoughts on, you know, all of this stuff that's coming forward with the uh, the Durham investigation and just Hillary Clinton, you know, go ahead, be Shamika, let, let, let's hear what you got to say. <laughs> you know, I'm not shocked. I'm not, I'm not shocked. I think this is another time when Trump was right, when he tried to tell everybody and no one would listen, no one wanted to believe it. I myself, security had to step in when I was in Dallas because the Black Lives Matter man was trying to attack me. I was speaking and he didn't like the fact that I was at a pro-Trump was, you know, rally. Mm -hmm. Um and security had to take him down. So I've had these instances too out on the road where I've just faced people being really nasty, being really mean. Yeah. I sent, uh, we have a family group text and I had sent a picture of myself in the White House and my great uncle who is over 90, but you know, he cursed me out behind it, you know. Yeah. Is whereas everybody else in the family was like, oh, you're so beautiful, regardless mm -hmm. of who I support, you know, yeah. we're so proud of you. Mm -hmm. He was so angry that I was there just because he felt like Trump was racist. Yeah. And this whole Russia collusion and all, all of these things, he was yeah. really, really believing it at the time. So I think what's most frustrating for me is not even that it has come out to be true because I believed it was true the entire time. Mm -hmm. What I think is more frustrating for me is it's not going to get the legs that the previous story had. I right. don't think people are going to be like, oh, my God, you mm -hmm. know, not in the masses because the mainstream media is not going to push it as much as they push the lies right so I think that's going to be frustrating for me that i'm still going to talk to people who are not going to know that this has come out because they watch cnn or right. msnbc or mm -hmm. and they're not going to know <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so i think that is what is the gets me the most angry because mm -hmm. like when it came out about the whole, we found out the whole Russian thing was a hoax. Nobody heard that story. When it came out that Hunter Biden was actually a crackhead, <laughs> nobody, you know, heard that story. All they heard was the assumptions or the allegations and they thought they were lies. And right. I'm like, no, Hunter's a crackhead. He's he a legitimate crackhead. Life, you know? Yeah. And so I think that's what I'm not going to like that because I already know how this is going to go. It's not going to be a big deal. 
And there are going to be so many people that still believe the lies because mm -hmm. that's what hung in front of them for so long. Yeah, it's really troubling that this is happening in America because you think that that kind of stuff is reserved for like, you know, Venezuela and Cuba and right. you know, China or something or North Korea. And you're right. I don't first not only do um, I, I agree with you, I don't think it's going to get the legs that all these other lies got. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that she's going to be held accountable. I, no. I don't know. She, I don't either. She's a dusty crime boss, if you ask me. <laughs> raggedy. I can't. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag your, your raggedy MFers. Right. <laughs> <laughs>